हेलो वेलकम टू द सेल्फ लर्निंग पॉडकास्ट बाय डॉक्टर सुषमा सिंह लेट अस स्टार्ट डिस्कशन ऑन यूनिट टू डिबेट ऑन मॉडल्स ऑफ डेवलपमेंट एंड आवर टॉपिक इज द पॉलिटिकल डिबेट द आइडियोलॉजिकल डिबेट द हैड इट्स इंपैक्ट ऑन द पॉलिटिक्स अराउंड द पीरियड ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस the first post war budget was inflationary to contract the inflationary tendency of the national economy the finance minister of the interim government liaquat ali khan presented a budget which proposed a 25% tax on all business profits above 100000 rupees The tax was intended to restrict the spending habits of the wealthy Indians and had a socialistic color but it created a furore among the congressmen who alleged that the budget was aimed at harming the interest of the businessmen who were mostly congress supporters This budget practically sealed the fate of the Congress League Corporation and was one of the major factors leading to the partition of the country. On the eve of independence in June 1947, the Central Committee of the Communist Party of India concluded that though the forces of freedom movement had compelled the imperial rulers to open negotiations with the indian leaders the former were trying to forge a new alliance with the princes big landlords and big businessmen of india in order to control the indian state and economy yet the party held that the agreement embodied in the mount batten proposal of 3 june 1947 for partition of british india offered new opportunities for national ad- advance and the two popular governments and constituent assemblies were strategic weapons in the hands of the national leadership it welcomed independence on 15th august 1947 in december 1947 however it re- reversed the position and called the acceptance of the mount batten plan an abject surrender on the basis of an imperialist federal purges combine the resolution led to the communist militancy in 1948 to 49 In 1947 the forward bloc left the congress on 28th February 1947 the congress socialist party decided to drop the word congress from its name Ram Manohar Lohia a socialist leader accused the congress of compromising with the vested interests In March the party opened membership to non congressmen In March 1948 Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel after having been accused of neglecting the security of Mahatma Gandhi who had been assassinated in January 1948 decided to quit the congress Jayaprakash Narayan declared that the draft constitution framed by the Constituent Assembly of India was clumsy and not inspiring. The party's legislative assembly members in UP who had been elected on Congress ticket resigned and sought re-elections but were defeated. The period around independence therefore saw sharp ideological debate on the future course of india's development no wonder the ideological debate was 
partly reflected in the proceedings of the Constituent Assembly of India that framed the Constitution. Now, let us move to the next point, the objectives, resolutions of the Constituent Assembly of India. All these issues were sought to be sorted out in the objectives resolution that was passed in the Constituent Assembly of India in a fairly early stage of its proceedings. That resolution pledged to establish an independent sovereign republic of India which along with its component parts would drive all power and authority from the people of India. This would also guarantee to all people of India justice, social, economic and political equality of status, of opportunity and therefore the law, freedom of thought, expression, belief, worship, vocation, association and action subject to law and public morality. Further adequate safeguards would be provided for minorities, backward and tribal areas and depressed and other backward classes. These liberals and welfareist ideas as will be seen were reflected in the preamble to the Indian constitution that presents the essential philosophy of the independent Indian state. The fundamental rights and the directive principles of state policy were their elaborations. Now let us sum up the unit. In this unit, we have learnt about the debates on the models of development in the independent India. Some debates centered on the Gandhian views and their feasibility, while others deliberated on the capital mode of industrialization. The issues of the debate including the system of control, nationalization, industrial policies and so on. On the whole, the final outcome of these debates pledged to safeguard the interests of the people of India in all aspects, political, social and economic, and uphold the liberal and welfareist ideas. Now, let us wind up this session and take rest with this we have come to the end of the unit. Thank you very much for engaging yourself with the self-learning podcasts.